Hello YouTube. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Share and all this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to show you how to open HP 15 BS 0XX laptop. Here we have HP 15 notebook. Product name HP Laptop 15 BS 0XX. Detailed information about this notebook. Core i3 6006U. 500 gigabyte HDD. 4 gigabyte random access memory. 2.0 gigahertz processor speed. 15.6 inch screen and DVD writer. Total required. You will need to following tools to complete the removal and replacement procedures. Flat bladed screwdriver. Next, body panel removal blade plastic. If you use metal blade, laptop body panel will be damaged. Okay. Next, dust cleaning brush. Next, before disassembling the computer, follow these steps. Turn off the computer. Disconnect the power from the computer by unplugging the power cord from the computer. Disconnect all external devices from the computer. Next, you place the soft clothes such as a towel on a flat surface. Close your laptop's display panel and place it upside down on the cloth. Next, to remove the base enclosure back panel, first follow the instruction to remove the battery. Find the battery lock latch identified by the battery icon on the bottom of the computer and slide the battery lock latch to the unlock position to partially eject the battery from the computer it will push out battery from the computer then remove the battery from the battery bay once it's done remove the screws from the base enclosure with a screwdriver you have to remove total 10 screws on the base enclosure including four hidden screws under rubber bush and two screws inside the battery bay and 6.5 mm screw that secure the optical drive to the base, base enclosure now remove the optical drive, remove the 6.5 mm screws that secure the optical drive to the base enclosure and carefully slide out the optical drive out of the base enclosure. Remove optical drive like this once it's done. Remove the back panel body lock with plastic blade. Slightly side with plastic blade between back panel joint lock to eject the back panel from the laptop. It will push out, will push out back panel from the laptop, then remove the back panel from the laptop. Once complete the removal, here you have experience for knowing details about each products for future upgrade and installation. Check your motherboard technical specification and look for the number of SATA ports and M2 slots depending on the drives you want to add and also experience to keep your laptop clean and running smoothly give each components a cleaning on a regular basis it's a good practice to open your computer and follow the cleaning process at least every six months that's all when your laptop needs an upgrade or replace for hdd or ssd you can replace the hard drive with a new hdd or ssd you can do this yourself otherwise contact with your sp service center Replacing the hard drive yourself is not very difficult. You can replace or upgrade HDD or SSD 500GB to 1TB. Okay, next here your notebook has a 2.5 inch HDD caddy reserved bay. You can connect the SSD to your laptop via an external caddy with optical drive slot. You can install higher capacity mechanical hard drive in an optical bay caddy if you need significant onboard storage. Next your notebook has two DDR4 memory slots so you can upgrade and install a maximum of 2 into 8 gigabyte random access memory module your laptop supports minimum memory speed 2133 MHz or maximum 2400 MHz easy for 17000 non ECC unbuffered 1.2 volt 2 into 8 gigabyte random access memory modules install two memory sticks of the same size on the both slots for higher performance okay According to the manual, your laptop supports up to 32GB random access memory. It's expensive, so you can buy and use easily without any doubt DDR for 2 into 8GB random access memory models. Next, according to the manual, your notebook has M2 slot that supports both SATA PCIe SSD and NVMe SSDs. Peripheral Component Interconnect Express which means PCIe SSD or Non-Volatile Memory Express which means NVMe SSD. Both supports on your laptop M2 slot. Okay. 
Next, easy to replace the PC fan, remove the screws and connector, then replace and reconnect the fan and then reassembling the laptop. And also easy to replace the CMOS battery, remove CMOS battery from the socket and replace it. Keep in mind that when you remove and replace the CMOS battery, your BIOS will be reset. Okay, that's it. Replacing any product yourself is not very difficult. If you think it's difficult, you contact with your HP service center. That's all. Now go back to the reassembling back panel cover. Reassemble your HP laptop. You reassemble your HP by steps in reverse order. Reinstall the notebook battery. Reconnect the power cord. Turn on the notebook to complete the replacement. Okay, that's it. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching and supporting. If you have any issues, comments below. If you like this video, make sure hit like and share. Your contribution is more confidence. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Once again, thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next video. Bye. Take care.